Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm thinking of doing a controller for this old robot we have. So, let's get to the robot first. We have four BO motors there, a motor driver L298 and a controller Arduino you know. So, how do we make a controller for this robot? We can make a wired controller or a wireless controller. Today, I'm going to do a wireless controller. For that, I'm going to connect HC05 to my mobile robot and I'm going to control this with a mobile phone. So we'll have to make an Android app in order to control the robot. So I'm going to use a powerful tool called MIT App Inventor to make the Android app. You can Google MIT App Inventor too. Go inside the MIT App Inventor website. There is a create apps button on the top. You will have to sign in with the Google account. This will be the page you are directed to. From here, there is a start new project option. Click on it, give it a name. We are inside the project. There are two main tabs for our project. One is the designer tab. We are inside the designer tab. There are two switches to switch the tab. Now we are in the blocks tab. This is where we do the programming. And in the designer tab, we are going to do all the styling and adding all the components that are needed for the project. Like in our case, we need a list speaker. So on the left side, there is something called a palette where we have all these categories like user interface, layout and connectivity. We'll be using these categories. So in user interface, list speaker is one that I need right now for the project. So I'm taking it from the palette and dropping it down to the screen you can see here on the viewer. This is uh, by dragging and dropping all these components, we can see how the app looks like in our mobile screen. So I have this list speaker here on the viewer. Now, whenever I added a component, you can notice that inside this component tab, it is listed. Previously, it was just screen one. Now I have list speaker. So whatever the component you are adding to the screen, it will be listed here. And you can access the properties of those components in this properties tab. So if you choose screen one, you can get all the properties related to screen one, list speaker properties of the speaker so now I'm changing a property of this list speaker because now you can see the text like text for list speaker I don't want that so the list speaker is something like if you click on it it will give you a list so what my plan is whenever I click on it it's going to show all the devices so I'm changing the properties of the text to show devices because that is what it does so show devices now I'm adding a label from the user interface category on the top like a heading like a title and I'm going for the property called a text and I'm changing it to available devices so I have it I'm changing few other properties like I'm making it bold I'm changing not the background color I'm changing the text color to some green you can choose custom colors here I'm making it a little darker now the font size 20 so that's it now I'm going for the screen one component and screen one component properties there is align horizontal I'm choosing center now horizontally it is centered and align vertical I'm choosing center that means you know totally it will be on the center of our screen so after this I need to implement something to control my robot like to go forward backward left and right First of all, I'm going to palette and in palette, there is a category called a layout. I'm choosing table arrangement. Now it is listed here and you can see the properties here. There are two columns and two rows. I'm changing it to three columns and three rows. After that, I'm going to palette user interface again. I'm choosing buttons for control. So I'm adding five buttons. This is why I choose three columns and three rows so that I can get a layout like this. Now this text button, this this first button 
is my forward button so I'm changing the properties of text like F so that I can know it is forward and this one is stop this one is my right this one is my back button and this one is my left button so we have all the buttons labeled as F S L R and B now the size is a problem so I'm changing the size to I can change height and width I'm changing uh, my height to 20% width to 30 now the next button 20 and 30 you can experiment with all these properties and make it more stylish so this is it I'm just going to screen one component again uh, I'm choosing a background color gray I'll go for dark gray now the stop button background color is going to be red all the other buttons I'm making it to orange so this is the app now you can see a title for the screen called a screen one you can change that property in here down here there is a title property you can change the text or you can make it invisible so I'm unticking it and the title is gone now moving into the blocks for the program before that we are using Bluetooth connectivity so from the user interface connectivity category we have to add something called a Bluetooth client to the app it will be listed down here as a non visible component and it is listed in the components now I'm going to blocks so in here the idea is like this we are going to list all the available devices into this list picker so when we use HC05 and this MIT app inventor literally we cannot scan the available devices using this MIT app inventor app so what I'm going to do is I'll first pair my Android phone with my HC05 and after that I'll get all these paired device list inside this MIT app inventor app so I'll be displaying that list to the list picker so I assume you will pair it first with your mobile phone then then only we can get the list here about the blocks tab on the left we have all the categories like built-in and all the components we have added and when you tap on it it will give you all the programming blocks like this so you can choose whatever you want and drag and drop it on the viewer so that we can form the full program so in our case I'm choosing screen one component and that is an event called when screen one initialize do that means when it starts up when the screen one starts up I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to list all the available devices address and names into the list picker so in list picker there is an option called set list picker elements okay so I am setting the elements to going to Bluetooth client one that's a block called Bluetooth client one address and names and I'm putting it here that means when whenever we open the screen our list picker elements will be available or the paired devices after this We'll be, we'll be opening the list picker, we'll get a list of available devices, we'll be choosing one selection to which we want a connection. So we are going to connect it by choosing it. So what I'm going to do is, in list picker, there is an event called when list picker one after picking do. So after picking that selection, we need to connect to the Bluetooth. So in Bluetooth client one, there is, sorry, in Bluetooth client one there is something called connect address now I'm going to list picker and in list picker there is something called list picker selection 
that means we are selecting one from the list and that selection has this address and name so i'm connecting it to this block so that it can get connected to that bluetooth device now we cannot put it like this here so i'm going to controls there is a block called evaluate but ignore result so we are done now whenever I pick a list it's going to get connected to that device after this i need to control i need to control the robot for that now i don't know which button is which which is forward button which is backward button from here so i'm going back to designer and button one is my forward button so i'm renaming the component as f button and renaming this one as s button this one is my back button this one is my left button right button going back to blocks now I know which is which now whenever I press forward button what should happen is I'm going to send a letter F so for that in Bluetooth client there is an option called send text text okay so go to built-in category and choose text there's a blank block now inside this I can type F I'm going to set F for forward button like that for backward button I'm sending B I'm doing the same for left right and stop good so this is it so we have a very basic app to control the robot we can choose the address where we want to connect to we can connect it by picking it then we can drive it like by pressing forward button backward button left right and stop so after doing this what you can do is you can go to build and there are two options the first option is going to give you a qr code and you can scan it and download the app directly into your mobile the second option is to download this app to your computer then somehow take it into your mobile and uh, install it so the first option seems quite easy so this will take a little time to complete after this you will get a qr code this is a qr code scan it and download the app and install it this is the program i have uploaded to my Arduino robot i have connected motors on 8 9 and 6 7 of my Arduino digital pins i have declared everything as output and I'm starting a serial communication because my Bluetooth module is going to communicate with my Arduino through serial pins. And I'm checking if there is anything available in the serial buffer. If anything available, I'm reading it using serial.read string and storing it inside direction variable. And after that, I'm checking the data that I have read is F. If it is F, I'm moving forward. If it is B, I'm moving backward. If it is L, left and right or stop. So this is a basic program, very simple. Hope you got some idea about controlling hardware with an Android app. I have added all the details about the project in the description below. Check out for more details. Post your comments, share your ideas and suggestions. Thank you so much.